which of the two teams did you think would be whew, that's a super over and which one would be like we should have won it in real time ah uh, i think after going into the last over after three balls sunrises would have been thinking this is our game we, we, you know hyderabad should have been winning that game after three deliveries but then they couldn't lay bat on any of the last three balls which was a, a real problem and then um, in the super over i think after bowling a very good first up uh, over from akshar patel then um, you know delhi would have been delhi would have been a lot more comfortable i would have thought going out to bat inside the super over but yeah there, there was some glaring um, i think mistakes made on both sides which i'm sure we will dissect in a little more detail kane williamson memories of super overs kiwis and super overs simon yeah. uh, take it away it was, it was tough i look i mean i think kane williamson had done a great job to get them to that point i thought he looked a little bit tired he looked like he was cooked at the back end um he did everything but win them the game and to me the mistake was made when they sent him out to bat uh if david warner was coming out to bat then he had to come out to bat with johnny bestow if came williamson was coming out to bat he had to come out with johnny bestow bestow was the only one who struck the ball really cleanly outside of williamson in that uh in that hyderabad inning so that was uh, it was a glaring mistake i think from the from the hyderabad uh, management captain whoever made that decision uh made the wrong decision Yeah well we we talked about one side of it and I know how Shadeli have won but on the other side of it do you reckon in hindsight um or, or maybe Duri I'll get your I'll get your point of view on that as well you mentioned the losing side but what about the winning side I know they won't talk about it anymore the cleanest or the second cleanest hitter of the day after Johnny Bairstow would have to be Prithvi Shaw Yeah again I mean you've got two left-handers coming out um maybe that was the re- the reason was they knew that Rashid Khan was going to bowl I I get that pretty sure had taken uh the new ball bowling uh, apart it um it'd been good against the spin up front as well so I from in some way I can understand their decision more than I can understand uh Hyderabad's decision you've still got two power hitters two genuine players who can hit the ball out of the park Yes, they both happen to be left-handers. Maybe that was just the matchup they preferred against um Rashid Khan, and I'm not sure that Prithvi Shaw's record against Rashid Khan is is all that good. So I I don't have the numbers on that, but I'm sure that they've done their research around that. They still sent two power hitters, two boundary hitters out, and that's what I think that's what I think was wrong with the Hyderabad game plan was that Kane Williamson yes he can work boundaries he can hit boundaries nicely but he looked a little bit tired he looked a bit cooked you know we could all see how how much sweat he'd uh, he'd lost his shirt was drenched and I, I, I if Besto I, I can't fathom I can't fathom why Johnny Besto did not walk out to the crease